Hi everyone, my name is Rosemary, founder of TechAble Assistive Technology. As part of the iPhone accessibility features that are related to vision, today I'd like to show how to navigate the iPhone using VoiceOver. VoiceOver is the screen reader feature which make iPhone easier to operate for people who are blind or who have low vision. Okay, let's get started. To turn on and off VoiceOver, you can ask Siri. Hey Siri, turn on VoiceOver. Okay, I turned VoiceOver on. Hey Siri, turn off voiceover. Okay, voiceover is now off. But to turn on and off the accessibility feature, um, I like to use accessibility shortcut by pressing the side button three times or by placing it in the notification center. Um, if you like to learn how to use the accessibility shortcut or notification center, uh, please watch my video um, on the topic. So I'm going to use shortcut placed in the notification to turn on voiceover. Voiceover on. Accessibility shortcuts. Heading. Selected. Accessibility short. Okay, so once the voiceover is on, you can iTunes Store. Touch the screen with your finger. Audible. One finger. And one note. If you touch the screen, Shortcuts. you will hear the item under your finger. And also, you can drag your finger around the screen to explore. No, iTunes, OneNote, Audible, Shortcut, Setting, Focus App, Wallet. Like this. But you don't have to place your finger directly on an item to locate it. Instead, you can flick left or right with one finger anywhere on the screen to find the item. Weather, shortcuts, audible, one note. So I'm flicking my finger. Messages. To left. Chrome. And then to right. Messages, one note, audible, shortcuts. It will move one item by one item. Weather, wallet. And if you like Focus to app. open the selected item, Settings. you just need to double tap with one finger like that. settings again i'm going to flick my one finger left and right to go to mail and then i'll double tap with one finger to open mail app focus app settings page four of four adjust doc phone mail Nine on red emails. So I'm on mail, so I'm going to double tap the screen with one finger. Mail. Click here. Link. And if you drag your finger over the screen with one finger, again, you will hear the block of words that you touch. Five tools that make reading accessible in Google Classroom. Actions available. This year, students will spend hundreds of hours in Google Classroom. It Page 2 of 5. Join us for a snapshot look at 5 tools in Snap and re new PDF annotation, markup worksheets, accessibility, including read aloud, visual supports, including color overlay, translation and language supports, organization, translation, visual accessibility, new PDF annotation. Join us for a snapshot look at 5 tools in Snap and read. So like you can see, I moved my finger over the screen. And then um, it reads the block of text where my finger is touching on the screen. And if I want the voiceover stop reading the text, 
I need to tap the screen with two fingers. New PDF annotation, accessibility, including read aloud, picture finger, supported dictionary. Tap, and then we'll stop reading again. Visual support, translation, organization, highlighters, finger, notes, and digital organ. Tap. And when you want to go back to the home screen, um, you need to swipe up from the bottom edge of the screen with one finger until you hear the second sound. So when you touch around the bottom part of the screen with one finger, you will hear a sound. And then if you swipe up from there, you will hear the second sound that is higher pitch than the first sound. So when you hear the second sound, you can lift up your finger off the screen. Let me demonstrate how it works. So like you just saw, it makes the low sound when I touch the bottom part of the screen. And then when I swipe up my finger, then it makes the second sound, which is higher pitch. Let me show you one more time. So let me open up. Mail. Click here. The mail. And then I'm going to go back to the home screen. So I'll touch the bottom part of the screen with one finger. Mail. So when I heard the second sound, I lift my finger off of the screen and then it takes me to the home screen. And to nav navigate through the recently used app, uh, which means to go get to the app switcher. Um, similar to the previous action, I need to swipe up from the bottom edge of the screen with one finger until I hear the third sound this time. So let me demonstrate. App switcher, mail, active. So like you just saw, when I touched the bottom edge of screen, it made a sound and then I drag up, um, it made a second sound and then I drag further up and then it made a third sound, which is a higher pitch than the second sound. And then I lift my finger off of the screen and it um, take me to the app switcher. Let me demonstrate that again. So I'm going to go back to the home screen. Actions available. Notes. Okay. And then let me go back to the app switcher. Actions available. App switcher. Mail. Active. Actions available. And to move to the previous or next page within the app switcher, I need to flick left or right with one finger. Settings, active. Notes, active. Chrome, active. Bible, action. Chrome, active. Notes, active. Settings, active. Actions available, mail, active. Actions available. And if I want to open the selected window, again, I need to double tap the screen with one finger. Mail, your accessible reading toolkit, image. Gift card. And let me go back to the home screen. Dog. And this time, if you want to open the control center, you need to swipe down from the top edge of your screen until you hear the second sound. So similar to the home screen gesture, when you touch around the top edge of your screen, you will hear a sound and then if you swipe down from there, you will hear a second sound that is higher pitch than the first sound. And when you hear the second sound, you need to lift your finger off of the screen. So let me demonstrate. Control center, airplane mode, switch button. Okay, um, let me show that one more time. 
notes. Okay, so from the top edge of the screen, swipe down with one finger until you hear the second sound. Control center, airplane mode, switch button, off. And to navigate in the control center, I can either flick right or left to move to the next to our previous item, or I can drag my finger, one finger around the screen to find an item. So let me flick first. Airplane mode, cellular data, switch Wi-Fi, totem, Bluetooth, switch, show media controls, iPhone right arrow afterwards, track position, zero previous track, dim, button. So Actions available. It will move one item at a time if I flick left or right. And then this time, let me drag my finger. Volume, camera, type, flashlight, QR code reader, calculate, dark, screen, volume, for camera, but timer, calculator, dark, selected, accessibility shortcuts, button. And again, Actions available. if you want to open the selected item, double tap screen with one finger. Assistive touch button. That's all I have for today. Thank you for watching.